Here's a iPhone SE third generation. I'm going to show you how to transfer photos and videos directly from your iPhone to your Windows computer or laptop. This will also work for the iPhone SE first generation as well as the second generation. And we're simply going to be using the charging cable. Okay. So first thing to note, at least with the uh, iPhone SE third generation, the charging cable that it comes with is a USB-C to a lightning connector here. Okay. So hopefully you have a USB-C or a Thunderbolt connector on your laptop or computer. Okay. So I do have a USB-C or Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt port right here. Now the thing is, if you don't have this USB-C port, then another option with the cable is you can go ahead, if you have one of these laying around, a USB-A to a, oh sorry, this is the wrong cable. So if you don't have a USB-C and you maybe have something like this laying around, it's a USB-A to a lightning cable, okay? So if you don't have USB-C, you can just use the USB part and plug that into your uh, computer. So let's go ahead and transfer some photos and videos. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my iPhone, plug it in right now. You just heard something right there. You should get a message on your phone. It says allow this device to access photos and videos. I'm gonna click on allow. Now I'm gonna set my phone down. Now, if we look at your Windows computer, you wanna go ahead and open up File Explorer, okay? Down here, that little folder, that's File, File Explorer, okay? If you, if you don't have the File Explorer here, you can just go down here and do a search for File Explorer. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and open up that little folder right there. And then from here, I'm gonna go down to and tap on this PC right there. And now I see Apple iPhone right there. So I'm gonna double click on Apple iPhone. Then I'm gonna double click on internal storage and then double tap the DCIM folder. And then you may have a bunch of folders in here, but I only have one. So let me double tap on that and I can see all my photos and videos here. Now, I know that they are photos if they have like a uh, JPEG file or if it says a PNG. And I know if it's a video, if you had like, it looks like a uh, film right there. You can see that that one's a video. Okay. So from here, you can go ahead and save it to your computer. What you can do is you can go ahead and drag and drop each one individually. I mean, you can even try to drop it on your desktop. You can see it right here on my desktop or what I typically do is I'll just make a new folder I'll go to my desktop here I'll right click on my trackpad I'll go down to new I'll go and select folder and then I'll name that something I'll just name it iPad and then what I'll do is I'll select whichever uh, file I want videos or folders that I want and I can drag it into my new folder up here called iPad but what I typically do is I'll just highlight all of them and I'll drag and drop that right into my iPad folder right there and let it go. Give it a little bit of time to transfer here. Okay, there we go. Now I can go ahead and close this window. I can go ahead and unplug my iPhone here. And now all those photos and videos are saved onto my computer here under my folder iPad. And you can see right there. And there you go. Saved onto my computer now, All right? Pretty simple. Questions or issues, just uh, comment below. Good luck.